everyone welcome back so i'll be doing a new pour for you today so i have a 30 by 40 centimeters 12 by 16 inches canvas all i've done is taped the back to keep the edges quite neat um okay so i have selected a few nice bright colors for you so they are all mott mart colors so i've got titanium white medium yellow this one is a coral that i made up myself by mixing some orange and magenta and a bit of white that is turquoise that is the same coral with much more white in it i've just took some of that and put um same amount of it again sorry of white and some magenta so i've got 60 grams of paint 60 grams of pouring medium in each color my pouring medium is 60% PVA glue, 40% water, so slightly thinner than usual. So let me show you the consistency. So it's still nice and thick, but slightly thinner than usual, because I will be doing a um, flip cup pour, so I need to be a bit thinner. So I need to add some silicone in each cup. So that's the silicone I use, found it on Amazon, it was about £5, £5.50, so very handy. So I will add um, four drops of silicone in each cup, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, one. Four. and you guessed it three four okay so that lasts you forever because you'll need a few drops at a time okay so i need to mix everything really well so i'm just going to stir them that's my titanium white that's the medium yellow And a lighter turquoise. I don't know if it's going to make or if the difference will show, but you know, you've got to play and try. It's nice to mix your own colours, makes your own. Painting's very unique. Okay. So that's it. That's consistency again. Okay. So I'm just cups. I try to reuse as much as I can, you know, clean, wipe them clean, and then reuse them. So um, stains on the outside, so do not panic. So I have in total 720 grams of mixed paint. So I'm going to split the paint between three cups. Um, I need about 700 grams. The way I calculate things is that obviously that's in centimetres. You've got a 30 by 40. So that's three plus four, that's seven, that's 700 grams. If I had a square canvas, 30 by 30, it'd be three plus three six 600 grams you know and it works for me so that's how i just kind of work out how much paint i will need and it helps me work out my mixes how many different colors i'm going to use etc uh i'll just show you my paints again so i said it was the mark mart so they're all the same but these are the big two liter bottles that you can find from mark mart so they go on forever so that's it i can start layering so I've already put my colours in order. So let me just put my cups a little bit closer. So I'm going to use half the mix 
here, more first layer, and half the mix in there on my second layer. So you may fast forward if you are not too sure or you know exactly what you're doing, you know. So you can drizzle over, you can just let the paint pour on the side, you know. The results will be fairly identical. So in this pool I'm looking for cells, I'm looking for a lot of bright colours. So let's hope I get it. Okay, that last colour for the first layer, nice magenta. And let's go back to our first colour, so it's the white. Okay. I'm just going to scrape the size. Usually I do save, I mean I don't mind scraping um, cups because I put all my colours in one cup and then I use them as a flow enhancer um, for my straight pores. However, I have put silicone in this paint so I can't use it as a flow enhancer. So I might as well just... Um, use everything that's in the cups oh that was close so I have the day off today so first day off of the year my jobs this morning, housework, etc. And then I thought this afternoon, you know what, I'm going to paint. I've been painting in about a week. I was kind of itching. I sorted all my paints at the kind of an inventory, what I had, what I didn't have, what I needed, not, but a wish list. So I thought, oh, I've got paint, I've got to use it. I need to get the creative juices flowing, so let's do this. I'm going to re split it equally, but it's not a problem. I might swap my last two colours and put the magenta next to the turquoise actually. I think that might be a nice combination. Let's do this. Happy pool, look at these colours. We need that. I'm still in winter times here in the UK. I'm getting there, you know. Let's just say we're more than halfway through. However, I'm still pretty depressing, so we need some nice bright colours to cheer us up. light kind of coral which is nearly like a portrait pink traditional colour I don't know it comes up on the screen but okay. like I said I can't save it because I've put silicone in them so that won't work with my as a style of pouring so let's use everything Right, I'm just quickly wipe my hands, so make sure it's still 
is. I've had loads of issues lately. I'll just start talking, 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 do my video, and then the camera never records it. So, okay, I'm just putting my index finger, middle finger underneath, grasping the rest so I'm not really keeping it tight, otherwise, squish it. And I'll just flick it very quickly, and I did squish it. My bad. anything to cover the sides so let's do the bread test does it sound hollow not quite I'm getting some reactions already so the turquoise and magenta look at that I've got tiny tiny to sales but I think it's gonna work lovely let's just see Okay, let's flip these. Oh, that's a lot of yellow. at the bottom of your cup to cover your edges but don't go back in the middle okay let's see what metals will be the main colour there Just doing the edges, might as well use what's at the bottom there. That will help the paint flow. And you can see all the stripes basically that are created. That's why you don't put it back in the middle because you would have that kind of effect. So if that's what you're after, that is perfectly fine, you know, go for it. But it's not what I want. What I didn't take with me is a bit of cardboard, one second. There's one I prepared earlier. Okay. So I need to cover these two areas first. So let me just turn the canvas around. That, um, the darker coral that I made is nearly like a, a neon kind of pink. I can't explain, I don't know if it's the lighting in the room or, but it's really interesting. All right, so you need to take your paint left and right on the boat. Uh, don't go straight down. Corner, what Julie Cuts call corner captures. That's a good dis description. Okay, so we've got a corner covered. So this is fine. So now I have stretched a little bit. Before I get rid of these, I will torch over the canvas, try to bring more cells up. I mean, I only got a few lovely multicolored cells. I hope you can see them. But obviously, I want more. So let's torch this. 
So I'm about 20 centimeters. So what's that? About eight inches away from the canvas or the paint. If you get too close, you can't control as much the amount of cells that will pop up. So it's better to do it um, further away, a tad longer, and you've got better control. Too close, as you see. Right. Let's see. Oh, my hamster's uh, nearly empty. I need to get much closer. I'm going to have to change it. lovely so now I need to turn my canvas around because I want to move my paint towards this side so I can get rid of these corners and fill in that small hole by doing this by moving the paint so we be moving it on the boat left and right left and right that will actually um, expand the cells make them grow so they will not stay that little so let's put the theory to practice so i'll go left and right left and right at a slight angle Now I need to. Oh, good job. Good job, young lady. Right. Just want. That's it. That was a bit risky. Yeah, that is nearly like neon colours. That turquoise pops like there's no tomorrow it's amazing i was not expecting that much um color so let me just creep underneath because that's why you lose grip sometimes you've got the paint under there on the rim underneath and then you slide and you lose you lose your grip okay because I had so much to tip off on the two corners, especially that one, I actually distorted quite a lot of the cells. But it's not the end of the world. It's better to have slightly um, elongated cells than me keeping those two um, ugly corners. So, can't be happy 100% of the time with these. So let's try to torch again. I've got very little gas left, so I need to get quite close. So by doing this, I'm getting smaller cells that I'm using to cover the negative space because I'm not always looking for negative space oh i think that's about it i'm virtually on it the flame is dying on me 
Right, that's it. It's empty. So Sean torch again. Okay, so let me turn it around so I can see from another perspective. Always do this, you know, try to see it not just from one angle because um, you do happen to see different things, um, whether you look from this way or that way. So do try to keep your uh, your eyes, you know, kind of going all the time and look at these colours. I mean, obviously it's, the coral kind of stayed in the background, kind of doing um, negative space colour, you know, they mixed with the blue, so slightly greenish, brownish, but it's not bad. I'm really happy with the middle section, obviously the magenta, yellow, uh, they're both semi-transparent, so they will pop up to the surface. What I'm really surprised about is the the turquoise, how it um, really pops out and becoming nearly um, neon. And look, with the yellow there, it's absolutely lovely. So I hope you can see. I don't want to tilt it more. I'm pretty sure that the paint is... Um, the weight of the paint is roughly in the centre. Let me just weigh. You do feel, yeah, it is. You do feel it as you lift it. So, so a quick. Let me just. I've got tools for this. Why do I use my hands? That's better and more efficient. Well, I did get my very bright pool. That is one thing that is no, um, no way, uh, no sad or boring pool, you know, that will cheer you up. Okay, so I will take my gloves off and I will bring you closer so you can see the lovely colours. Right, so different angle. So let's start on the bottom there. Look at these cells, you know, multicolored that do look lovely. And you see, it's not as bright on the screen of the phone, but the turquoise is really kind of, I'll say it again, neon like. Look at that. All the smaller cells there, that was on my second torching. Um, I do like them. I didn't want to stretch them um, by tilting the paint because it means all my larger ones have been distorted. Look at these, how pretty is that? Let me just go down the other corner. Oh. That was that was the dodgy corner. It's not great, but these it's like a pomegranate. Look at that. And then top corner with more of the yellow and white. So yeah, I'm fairly happy with it. I hope you enjoyed it. Try bright colours, you know, it is worth it. It's it's really nice. Um, and I'll be doing um, another pull for you very soon. Thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe and hit the bell for all notifications. I'm nearly on 100 subscribers. That will mean the world to me to go to 100. So please, please, please. All right, everybody. Take care. Bye for now.